Alola, Dapper Drabby here, and today we are back at PTCGO with a Kiawe deck. Now, I am doing this deck before I get a chance to redeem any of my Burning Shadows uh, booster packs, so I'm still limited to the few cards I have from the pre release kit. Now, with that, I'm okay with it because I still got two Kiaways, and Kiawe is the most important card in this deck, so. Without further ado, let's go over what we have in this deck, and let's start with the star, which is Mega Charizard. Now, I actually think the Generations Mega Charizard might have a little more uh, versatility in this deck, but I have three Mega Charizard Ys, so that's what I'm going to use, is this 300 damage. Um, I think this new this uh, Mega Charizard is going to be... The new uh, Mega Rayquaza and like how quickly you can get this set up and uh, how much damage it can really uh, put out there um, with Kiawe now, which is very nice. So we have three Mega Charizards. Um, we have, uh, of course, the classic. We got one from the Evolutions. It looks like we got Wing Attack, Combustion Blast, Charizard. We got one from Evolutions. We were able to trade for one from the Promo Box. And it looks like we also have a Generations Charizard here uh, with Flame Cloak and Burning Breath, which uh, I believe most people will consider being the weaker one. But Flame Cloak attaches energy from the discard pile to this Pokemon. That's not bad considering we don't discard them, but uh, uh, considering you're going to put five energies on Charizard if he goes down, that is five energies you do not have. I figured. A little bit of, uh, you know, energy retrieval is going to be good. So with that, we also put in Rayquaza, Turbo Sperm, Turbo Storm, uh, attached to basic energy from this card to one of your benched Pokemon. Uh, and uh, I wasn't sure if he's better in this or if Baby Volcanion is better for that. Um, obviously, Rayquaza does a little bit more damage um, and does not attach to two different Pokemon, while Volcanion attaches to two different Pokemon, so it spreads your resources a little bit more. But I thought the 2 on one is a little better for me in this deck due to the fact that everything in this deck has a really high, high expensive cost, so putting two energies is a good thing. And then we got the classic Turtonator GX that has the Nitro Tank GX, that's going to be our main GX attack in this deck to be able to... Uh, replenish five energy cards at once and put them onto another Charizard. We also have Blight, Bright Flame, which does a solid 160 damage, and discards two fire energies, and then Shell Trap is always fine, which we can use with the double colorless if we draw that over a fire energy. It's a good stall tactic uh, when we need it. We also have a uh, two Lele's for that Wonder Tag and Energy Drive. I'm excited I finally ended up getting two of these in real life finally and the same two so that's kind of cool we have energy uh switch which is a questionable card in this deck however i think this is uh useful here because you can uh, with all my uh recovery in pokemon attacks if you put it on a pokemon that doesn't necessarily need it energy switch can put it onto the right pokemon um, if you're short just one energy from attacking, Energy Switch really helps you with that. If, uh, also, if you max elixir onto something basic and you need a fire energy onto your Charizard, Energy Switch it back up, up to Charizard, and voila, you have an attacking Charizard, which is unstoppable. So we also have a uh, four max elixirs, the highest count to get energies out as quickly as possible other than the simple Kiawe. We got two Nest Balls because everything in here is a basic. The only thing you're not going to grab with Nest Ball is Lele. We got one Super Scoop Up, and this is a great card in this deck. Flip a coin of Hedge, uh, one of your Pokemon and all cards attached to it, and add them to your hand. So, you know, if you have a Mega Charizard with a lot of damage on him, which he puts on himself, by the way. He puts on 50 damage on him by himself, so... If you have a lot of damage on your Charizard, you know, you can try to super scoop up. If that doesn't work, then good luck, you know. We have four Ultra Ball for standard search in every deck. Now, I did want to say that any deck, any cards that are uh, rotating out, uh, I do have ideas for replacement now. 
this here is one of them, and that is a VS Seeker. So with VS Seeker, we were able to put a supporter from our discard pile into our hand. Two options here. You have puzzle time. You can switch this out for a pu for four puzzle times, and that gets you two resources back from your discard when you play two of them, which is uh, not a bad thing. Uh, otherwise, I thought you might want to add more of the next card I am going to have to go over, which is a Cerola. You put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all cards attached to it into your hand. Now, Acerola is basically a max potion without the energy discard. You put everything back into your hand, so... Acerola can be very useful in this deck uh, with Charizard and bringing him back to your hand and taking off all that damage he just put on himself. Um, I mean, you have to reattach the five energies, of course, but that's not a bad thing. <laughs> So, yeah, with that. Okay, with that, we we're moving on. We still have one Guzma in here, because that's what we pulled. Uh, we plan on, once you get more, these Lysanders, Lysanders over here will probably be switched out for our Guzmas. Obviously, we have two Lysanders in here right now, but those will probably be Guzmas by the end of it. We got one Hala at your boy, uh, because once we use Nitro Tank GX, this is a better N, so I'm trying that out over a fourth count of N. We have one Hex Maniac, which is rotating. Uh, what did I think would be the best replacement for this? Uh, I think even possibly a second Super Scoop Up. But other than that, there's nothing that really, there's nothing you really need to block abilities for. But it's nice to block abilities. Uh, my guess is he throw a Stadium in or throw another Spirit Link in. Um, I only have two, so I only put in two. So Hex Maniac was just thrown in there because, you know, it's still good. It's good to use if you can. And then we have the star of the deck. We got that key out way. Search your deck for four fire energies and add them to your Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. Your turn ends. Now, I don't care if my turn ends. My Charizard is set up turn two, and I'm ready to go. And that is awesome. So that's why key out ways in this deck. Ideally, you want to get a Charizard out on the field. That's why we have the most Charizards of anything. You throw your Charizard down, you draw into a Lele, either through Ultra Ball or just a Sycamore. I guess that's our only two search options, isn't it? Yeah. I have lots of draw support so I can try to get uh, a Lele first turn to try to key out way to get those four energy on board. Put that pressure on my opponent right away. Uh, and that is the point. So we got three in. We have the three different kinds of art form, I think. We got one Olympia for that switch and a little bit of heal. Uh, fourth Guzma could be even possible, but um, I like just having that little bit of heal. We have one Professor. Uh, one Professor? No. He is, she is a Pokemon Center lady. Nurse Joy, right here. You get your little Nurse Joy. Heal 60 damage in all special conditions from your Pokemon. This is good if you face an off against Espeon. You know, you heal that confusion. Uh, via Seeker, you can reuse it over and over again. Heal that 50 damage that Charizard does to himself if you want to prolong his life a little bit longer. Um, we also have, it, I believe it is four Sycamores to be able to get out the most uh, draw we can. And then we have uh, two Spirit Links because I don't have a third. And see that black Charizard? I would almost do either a, a one, two, uh, one black, two, uh, or 1x, 2y, or 2x, and 1y for the Mega Charizards. Uh, we have three double colorless energies, and to round out our energies, we have 10 fire energies. So that is the deck. I'm going to export it right now. It's copied to my clipboard so that you guys will be able to see. Now, let's take it to the Versus Ladder, or do you guys think I should try to do an event with it? I think that might take too long, actually. I think it'd be fun to try to do a tournament with this deck. I could do I could do a standard eight ticket tournament. I have ninety four tickets, obviously. Um, but I don't want to, I don't want to make you guys wait too long. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into a match. We're gonna see uh, how many we can play. I'm gonna play uh, at least one for sure. I'm gonna probably try to get two or three though. So let's look for an opponent and see what we can do here. So I can try to get this. This is a little bit late night. It's already 10.42 here, so I'm trying to get this. I changed my hat. I'm trying to change my clothes on the um, Pokemon.com, guys, but uh, it's a little slow. Apparently, it like, did not like me buying Lycanroc stuff, so it like stopped me mid-Lycanroc stuff. So 
that kind of sucked. But uh, it's fine, you know, because I can, I'll go back on there soon and finish it up. Uh, and then you'll see my, my lichen rock suit. Wow, I drew a lot of energy this first turn. That kind of sucks. But uh, we can work with it. We can work with it. Um, is there a way to get a Lele? There is not a way to get a Lele. So, considering it's first turn, I can't do much. I'm going to just go ahead and attach fire energy and pass. That's all I can do, guys. That's everything. That's all. Which kind of sucks. But I got a plan for next turn. Uh, I can hit this uh, Volcanion for 60 damage. Which is also not quite enough. That kind of sucks. Okay. So we're facing a Volcanion deck for sure. Could be a rematch, match, but I highly doubt it. Ultra Ball for the Lele, right? Rescue Stretcher. Why didn't I put any Rescue Stretchers in here? I didn't think about that, I guess. But, that should be fine. Should be looking for your Lele. Oh no, Volcanion EX. Okay, so you're going to just boost damage right off the bat. Now another thing that could help here is... Well, no matter what, I need to draw a supporter. There's your Lele. Now, when I did testing with this deck, it definitely performed... You know, Lele start every single time, so that was kind of nice. So what I need here is an N. If I don't have an N, I can't really move very far with this deck right now. And I have three in the deck, so... One of them should pop up, but we'll see. Choice band on the Volcanion. Gonna go ahead and steam up for that 50 damage plus 30. So you're doing 80 damage right off the bat to Charizard for one energy. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's a good setup. So I can already say, we're, we're on the, the tail end of this. We're uh, starting off a lot slower than our opponent here. Which could uh, create an issue down the road. But uh, I'm still hopeful. Ooh, another 30 damage. 110, turn 1. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so I know what I'm going to do now. It's slightly different than what I was going to do. Because I gotta do something to get this, uh, this Volcanion down, and yeah, jeez. Now, there's two things I can do here. That's the better play. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this down here. Ace Arola, my Charizard, take that damage off. And, uh, put Charizard back down. And Shell Trap for that stall talk tactic why doesn't Volcanion work for me should be for a full turn right full turn of uh, 30 damage on the on the extra for the uh, <laughs> for fire type basics I'm getting that uh, trying to get that water weakness set up now that might be an issue for this deck actually is water weakness I think I figured that out last time in testing because I got demolished by a Kingdra deck I believe yeah I got demolished by a Kingdra deck because I uh, ended up grabbing a Turtonator instead of a Lele there we go our opponent end us which is not a bad thing um, all I would have been able to do really was uh, do the Ace of Rola again so there's all of our Charizards So that's not bad. We only have Ace Roller in the discard so far. Max Elixir, that Volcanion is up and running. Oh no, he's not. Not quite. He did it on the other one. So he has two of them that's going to be up and running after he uh, does uh, Volcanion's little uh, thing. Little dance. <laughs> power heater. <laughs> Turning on the power heater. My uh, opponent is taking this super slow. Kind of wish he would... Uh, make his plays a little bit quicker but I've been kind of stuck with the draw pass draw pass so he's going to try to do some big damage on Turtonator here which we made just Acerola again 
No, that works for us. But now Volcano is up and running. We're gonna go ahead and throw down some, uh... Well, I drew all, every single one of my, uh, things right now. So, I think that's what we'll do right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and Shell Trap for another turn. To get that, uh, to buy, just buy some time. Hoping we can get a Charizard set up by next turn. We're just getting a fire energy on him. So this is super slow. So the reason I kind of came up with this idea was after watching like some Charizard GX uh, deck list. And I was like, oh, that's really fun. I kind of want to try that with the Evolutions Charizard, but... I don't have the Evolutions Charizard, but what I did have was all these Mega Charizards, and I was like, hey, let's try it out. Let's try a, a Kiawe with that. But as you can see, I've not even drawn a Kiawe. I've drawn all the energy I would ever need, but no Kiawe. The only supporter I'm still stuck with is an Acerola. Um, however, it looks like that can change in just a moment. Pulling out the big guns with that... Volcanion. Now he's gonna hit Turtonator for weakness and go up in the prize trade. Now this puts me in a troublesome spot because he can one shot everything but I think he's stuck this turn and he did 80 damage to himself so if I can pull off 100 damage I can actually knock him out. But I don't think I can do that with either one of these, can I? Not easily, no. Because he's going to retreat next turn. Can you do anything? No. Let's promote the one with energy on it. I'd rather get off an attack does Nest Ball do anything for me right now? say so all I have left is Lele's now this is something I haven't got to do yet is literally look at the deck and see like why am I not drawing anything and the answer is I don't know so to keep Volcanion or no Yeah, because he can attack for one energy. Can't really use it. I'm going to save the Ultra Ball for next turn. I want to get an attack off here. Get as much, ener as much damage onto Volcanion as possible. There is a possible one, two, three three prizes in my grasp if I can just spread some damage or do some tricky Lysanders because he can't heal the damage that easy unless he has an Acerola as well now I'm staying in this despite being down a lot right now um, but this uh, Charizard will probably go down this turn and if they have a fire energy they'll probably promote the other one there is the Guzma question is he's actually saving me here not hindering me I wonder if they knew that that that's what they were doing hmm very interesting choice there uh doesn't realize is I'm fine with that because I can knock out like anything right now of course I just attached the energy to the wrong guy I think I'm gonna I almost want to pass here but let's do this go ahead and grab Lele And get set up. The 
say I think I have four energies left. And let's throw that onto the Charizard. Seems like a more important play. I don't see him doing a Guzma again. I don't even know why he did, anyways. Should have float stoned and then Guzma. But, uh, to each their own, right? I guess that was probably a misplay. I should switch. Why are you using that to switch? That's fine. He's going down, anyways. So I'll have to watch out for that one with the uh, with the energy on him. Oh, you know I did misplay actually. I should have put those four fire energies onto Tapu Lele here. How much HP you have left? You have 40 HP left. So I can't just simply throw someone down and hope that works. But what I can do here is uh. I can promote Tapu Lele and hope for the... Now let's promote Charizard here. And see what we get, which is nothing. Okay, so we gotta hope that uh, he still bricks on energy here. We're gonna go ahead and... Uh, we can attack this uh, Volcanion out of here and get some prize cards finally. Sycamore and Max Elixir, that could have helped. Those definitely could have helped a turn or two ago. So let's see, what can we do here? Right now this is a Charizard show. We don't even, we haven't even pulled the Mega or his Spirit Link. Uh oh, there's that Via Seeker that, that's game. Let's give him a nice, well played. And uh, let him take that victory. I should have conceded when I waved behind. But uh, as you saw, it took me a good five turns to get the play I wanted to. Which is kind of uncommon, actually. This That's not how it played with me last time. So let's see if it's going to give me a little better luck. It's like it knows I'm filming, so it's going to give me bad luck because it knows I'm filming. Let's go ahead and try this quad Charizard Kiawe again. It's actually not quad Charizard, it's tri tri charts. It's the tri cup wizard, right? <laughs> it's, the, it's the goblet of fire. That's what I'm just gonna call this deck, is it's the goblet of fire. So blue ranger fox. Playing a dark right probably? No, not the Lele start. That's ridiculous. Alright, but this is not too bad. This is not too bad. We can kind of scout out what our opponent is playing. We can attack first turn with this uh, double colors we have here. A Sable Eye. I wonder what that's about. Oh, they chose for me to go first? That sucks. I don't want to go first. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball then. Throw away a Kiawe and an Ace Arola to grab. Is it a point to grab Lele? Lele is good for the Kiawe play, but we still have to grab something else to throw the Kiawe onto. So let's go ahead and just grab a Charizard, I think. Unless we should grab Turton later. Now let's go with the star of the show here right now, which is, uh... See, let's grab the other Charizard. Let's grab Flame Cloak Charizard. And, uh, I hate to do this, but I think I'm gonna do it, yeah. that is to grab Lele and actually show you guys what the combo is here at all costs.
cost show the combo, right? Which is the Kia way. And then you play the Kia way and you set up your Charizard ready to start busting out Kios left and right. And center probably. Let's see if our opponent came with something else. Bewitching Eyes. Furtive drop? Okay, I don't know what they're playing around with this. So, he might be trying to Bewitching Eyes and use Acerola, but there's no damage on him yet, so that's not possible. Let's see what the setup is here for Blue Ranger Fox. It's my only, my only, only my second loss with this deck, and it's because it just didn't draw very well. An Umbreon deck is what it looks like we're playing. Tossing two cards for the EV Energy Evolution. With that Darkness Energy, get that Umbreon up. And that's their attachment for the turn, actually. Ooh, that's nice. We get the VS Seeker. Let's count our energies. We had eight in there, right? So should I Kiawe again? And I think the answer is yes. I should Kiawe again. Because I am under no pressure. So let's go ahead and Kiawe again. Get out all of our energy here. Put it on Lele. Because Lele is going to start hitting for numbers, right? About. Yeah. So this is the point of having two Lele's, right? If you start one, you just throw the energy on it. And actually, I should have did that last turn, apparently. But it was hard to be able to tell if what I was going to draw, so. I mean, yes, I'm ending my turn and not being able to attack just yet. But I don't see a problem with that. Uh, Blue Ranger Fox is just now going to start getting set up with that Shaman. So we'll see if we either draw the Lysander, which will be great, or uh, if uh, we're going to need to use this Sycamore. Floatstone on the Sableye. It's okay, I don't want to knock out the Sableye. He only gives me one prize card. But we're going to hit for 80, it looks like right now. 20, 40, 60, 80. Unless we hit the Umbreon. And if we hit the Umbreon, we're going to hit for an extra 60 damage, which is really nice. Oh, we are going to hit the Umbreon. Actually, probably not. He's going to use Strafe, probably. Unless he does use, what, Dark Call? That'd be pretty smart right now, actually. Nope, going to Shadow Bullet. Actually, no, Dark Call wouldn't do anything, right? 90 damage. And we get a Kiawe. No, we don't need another Kiawe. We don't have any more energy. So we're going to go ahead and Sycamore. We've been hanging on to it. Uh, we'll play that Turtonator down, I guess. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 60, 180. I am, like, just that close to... Knocking out that uh, Umbreon, but I'm missing the KO by just a tiny bit. So what is the play here? I think the play is to like shell trap. Yeah, I think I want to retreat and shell trap here. Ooh, have I used a supporter this turn? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay. I did use a supporter this turn. So we're going to shell trap and stall for a turn here. But it, it softens up that Umbreon to be able to... Uh, we can take him out with anything next turn. So that is the point. And we can always Acerola that uh, Tapu Lele back up. It wastes one of our Kiawe's, but that's fine. Because we get those three energies back. 
and we can disperse them in a better way. We get a rescue stretcher. Ooh, they got the miraculous shine espion, which is not going to do very much because we don't have those kind of basics. Bewitching eyes. Can use anything. Any one of my uh, supporters in here. You're going to use a sycamore probably. I'd use a sycamore. Some silent lab action. Yeah, use sycamore. That's what I thought. There's the Mega Charizard. So with that, we are going to play Mega Charizard down here. And uh, it would Hex Maniac, but there's no point. I think we're going to play Acerola here. And return our, uh, yeah, return our Lele to our hand, because that is a prize that they could knock out right now. Let's go ahead and ace Rola here. I'm going to bring our Lele back to our hand. We have two fire energies. No discard. Do we want to throw that onto a Charizard, maybe? I think so. As you can see, I'm not terribly worried about this, uh... I'm not terribly worried about this, um... Sableye here in front of me. Is our Charizard's attack? Two fire and three colorless. So three fires and a double colorless. And the question is, can I get it out to knock out those three big guys in the back here? We have our Umbreon, the Shaman, and the Espeon that we want to take out because those guys are worth two prizes. Yep. Sonnet Lab shuts off Eevee as well, guys. And a Professor Sycamore. We're probably going to use Sycamore again, unless they use Acerola to take that 20 damage off of Umbreon. Which I don't know why they would, but they could. I don't know. They might. They might just. Now, the nice thing here is we could also just throw another Fire Energy on him and hit for 160. If we wanted to. There's our other spirit link. We got a, uh, yeah, I might just take out this, uh, sable eye with this free retreat. Sure, might as well. Although, I could set up that Umbreon really good next turn with Shell Trap. Oh, well, I already... Already convinced myself here. 160. Discard the two fire energies and take a prize. It's a double colorless energy. So this might be running long now, uh, but we should be able to pull out Charizard real soon. We do have enough energy on the board to really put some pressure down here. So he's probably going to strafe again, but if he doesn't put on an EV then he's going to be in some sort of trouble, so that is what we're hoping for. But if he does put on an EV, I'm just going to Shell Trap. No big deal. We get an N. That's probably wise, considering I have six cards in my hand. And I plan on using about half of them. Now, you might be wondering why I did not put the Spirit Link onto the Charizard. is because I'm not sure uh, if he has a Field Blower. You could field blow him off and get rid of him really pretty quickly, actually. But I do have an N finally. I can use my N. He's gonna strafe again and switch places with the Espeon. Okay, so this this is the opportunity I have been looking for, guys. So with this opportunity, um, what he does not know is that I have an Acerola in my discard pile with Acerola. I can return 
Turtonator to my hand. Just like that. Just like that. That easy, guys. It's that easy. And uh, Charizard EX is not quite strong enough, so... Set this down. We used our... Uh... So we'll throw an energy on him. And should we Ultra Ball? Sonic Lab shuts off things. So we could Ultra Ball for that uh, Mega Charizard. But it's not quite necessary. I'm going to go ahead and throw down the Baby Volcanion. And we're just going to Crimson Dive here for that 300 damage. And uh, take two prizes here on that Espeon. There's our Mega Charizard. We don't need to Ultra Ball for him. Now this does put us at 140. So if he can hit 140, which I don't think Umbreon can, he could take us out here. So this is what it would be problematic against, like, you know, Turtonator would take us out. And Espeon would definitely take us out. Gardevoir would, like, eat us alive. But, ooh, look at that water. Nice, 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 nice. But if you don't get that double colorless, it's not going to take me out. You need that double colorless or a choice ban. There's a double colorless. Very well done. Well done. Bravo. Bravo. So, what to do here, what to do here, and I think it is to promote the Charizard. I gotta check my discard, so I'm throwing another one in there, yeah, so. Uh, actually, dang it, that puts you a problem. Let's go ahead and put the Volcanion up, kind of mess with this prize trade a little bit, because I am actually in a, a bit of a, a pickle here, for lack of a better word. So I got all the Charizards I need, but it's not Charizard that I need. So let's go ahead and put everything back, I think. Yes, I know it's going to be fewer cards. It's going to be fewer cards for my opponent, too. So there we go. We get a Super Scoop up. That might be Clutch. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here with a uh, Nest Ball here. We do have another Charizard, so let's bring him up. And uh, let's go ahead and just power heater here for two of these fire energies. We're going to attach it to each of these guys. That way a double colorless can come down. The last double colorless, I should say. And just uh, make these two where they can attack. Excuse me. So... What will Umbreon do? If this guy loses, if I lose again for something stupid, that kind of sucks. I had a couple games where I would just key away turn one, have that, have that uh, Charizard ready turn one, and it really scared a lot of people off because if they had no way to set up, then they were just doing their damages too much to be able to come back from, especially that early in the game. Obviously, this my my opponent in this one definitely had time to come back, got those double colors at the opportune time. And actually, what's really saving him here is that, uh, that dumb, uh, Vaporeon back there. Um, I guess what we do here is throw the Charizard up, actually. And I hate to, like, waste the Super Scoop up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. Worst case scenario, we get heads. Let me throw out the Lele. <laughs> okay, now this is something I can work with. Maybe... Maybe... No, I cannot, because I don't have the... Spirit Link. It's literally the only thing missing. Is Spirit Link. And I'm about 10 damage shy of taking a knockout. Which kind of sucks. Yeah, that really sucks, actually. Yeah, so... Here's going nothing. 150, he has 190. He has 10 HP left. 
Now that's something where a Lysander or a Guzma would have came in handy. Gonna shadow bullet me, which is no big deal. Oh, that's right, weakness. How do I forget about weakness? Hit for perfect damage. Uh, let's see. Now we're kind of screwed, guys. Now we're kind of screwed. Guess we're gonna put Turtonator up there. So see what screwed us here was this uh, the Vaporeon. You see now we finally get something to mess with him with, but it, it's too late. It's too late to to mess with him on that. So get nine of our ten energies in the discard pile as well, and we have no more ways of getting him out. So this game is lost. There's nothing I can do. There's no way to change it. Um, there's nothing. Yeah, there's literally nothing I can do. There's there's no more energy anywhere. So like all I can do is you know energy switch this one energy up there. Uh, and sycamore. Hopes that I get an energy. Need him, but there's nothing to do. There's no fire energy, guys. There's no energies left in here. So, like, Turtonator is the last thing, and all I can do is Shell Trap. So, you see, I came close, but that, that Umbreon right there is going to take out Turtonator. With a simple shadow bullet. No, good use of Vaporeon right before he's done. And, uh... Well, that sucks. This deck definitely did run better in testing. So... What I'm going to do now is, since I, I didn't get to show you at all what I was trying to do, uh, this deck obviously needs work, is what I would say. I'd say this deck needs work, needs that little bit of a boost on consistency, but uh, we're going to just go against, see look at this. This is what was happening on testing. Like, it's so simple that it's kind of ridiculous that this is the ideal of this deck, actually, is what's about to happen. Luckily, he played Sycamore not in, or she did, and, uh, and what do I draw? Like, yeah, see? This is, this is ideal right here. This is what this deck is designed to do, but it just was not working on the PTCGO, uh, Versus ladder. You're designed to, to Tapu Lele turn one. Grab four energies with Kiawe. Throw it on whatever Charizard you draw. You turn in so that your opponent fiddle around once or twice more. Maybe try an attack or two. Which I forgot to an attach an energy actually. Even, but <laughs> you would ideally attach an energy as well. And then, Pokemon Center lady it up, and start swinging. So let's see, that's the idea of the deck right there, is just, as soon as possible, start swinging uh, with Charizard, with Mega Charizard EX, just, see, it's, it's possible to get a turn to Mega Charizard, um, the algorithm on drawing just made it super difficult on me for some reason. I don't know why. It just wanted to. But see, like, that's the way it's supposed to draw right there is... Just simple, you know? We don't even need to do Lele because we have everything we need here. Now what we can do is another... I'm not going to waste you guys' time with uh, just 
you know, Charizard getting one prize over and over again. But yeah, that's the idea right there. So we're going to stop this and, I guess, concede. Even though we would have just, like, rolled from that point on. What, can I not concede these decks? No, I can't. Okay, good. I gotta let her finish her turn first. It stops you immediately in the versus ladder. But, uh, with that, do I actually, do I have any cards to open? I didn't think about that. Usually I have packs to open here. But it doesn't look like I really have a lot right now. Oh, I have 14 Fate Collide Lock Packs. You know, do you guys want to see those? Because... Yeah, let's open up the, the Fate Collide Locked Packs. That's 14 of them. That's a lot. Looks like I'm getting a ton of them. Like, that's the only one I have a ton of, though. So, okay, Alakazam. These guys are still legal. It's gonna go along with the pack of days, it looks like. We got a Fairy Garden. We needed that, actually. And Lucario Hollow. So we'll open up these packs, finish it off. Uh... Next week I'll have more Burning Shadow stuff, uh, hopefully with all the codes that I recently got, I can actually find myself a, uh, a good GX, or maybe I'll just trade for one. Um, we'll see what the cheapest GX here is in a second, maybe we can just trade for it. Burning, or we got Fighting Energy, there's some Delphox stuff, nice. All these are locked, so... I can't trade any of this stuff, unfortunately. Grump Pig. Doesn't look like I've gotten any hits, though. We got all the Ruckus, like, a ton of times. There's a Brig. And an Aerodactyl. Looks like we have seven more packs after this, so this is our eighth one. Wow, we were getting robbed on this, actually. This, uh... These packs kind of have nothing in them. Team Rocket's Handiwork, it's not, that's not bad. And... Oh, Mega Altaria, so good. I'm kidding. I hear that. I'm not seeing Mega Altaria. It's, it does wreck me occasionally, because I'm not expecting it. But, uh... I've never seen it, like, consistently running into it. There's too many Garbodors running around. Look out. <laughs> Car bank. It looks like we have three more, including this one, and Lord Helix, we got a superior, and double colorless, we get a reverse rare Lucario and a toss and turn Snorlax, we got no EXs except for the Mega Altaria in these locked packs, and the last one is a Bone Drop Mandibuzz. He's dropping his bone. Uh, so, I will let you guys go, but uh, first I wanted to take a look at some trades. Public offers. Um, loading the server. No, I want something specific. Uh, I thought there was a way. I thought there was a way to like say exactly what you want. Oh, there we go. Burning Shadow cards, uh, I'm getting Apply, so, I wish I could sort these by, like, what's cheapest, right? Um, but what it looks like a lot of people are trading is these, uh, Gardevoirs, the Gardevoir GXs here. But uh, they are expensive, like this one is 22, Gar uh, <laughs> 22 Guardians Rising Packs for a, uh, yeah, that's a lot. I don't know about that. This one looks reasonable. Five Burning Shadows for one Alolan Muck. Don't know about that. I hate when they, like, add numbers by throwing cards you don't need on there, like... Is this possible? A Charizard GX for three? That might be optional. Yeah, I can probably do that one. If you guys want to see a Charizard GX uh, deck, leave that down in the comment section. Ooh, I love this card. 
I need to get this card from our personal collection. That's on the that's on the list, guys. That's on the list right there. Um, but it doesn't look like there's a lot that people are offering right now. They're still trying to keep them, so maybe I'll just maybe next time I'll start I'll upload some of those uh, those codes onto here and uh, just start opening packs and see what we get. This is what I actually want to try is a Salazzle GX. So if I can find uh, a few more of these, maybe I'll try a Salazzle GX. Uh, yeah, a Salazzle GX uh, thing. Deck. Maybe I'll try a Salazzle GX deck because that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Uh, pretty sure I already know kind of how I want to build it. And I plan on building one in uh, real life right now too, but they're going to have slightly different cards, so. I can afford a Luminion. And an Alolan Grammar. <laughs> okay, guys, so yeah, we're done. I'm not going to waste any more time, so. I'll figure out something. If you guys have a specific GX you want me to try to get, uh, I can just leave that down in the comment section of this video. I will try to, uh, I'll try to find a way to get it. That's not a fair trade. And, uh, and make a deck out of it. So it looks like Salazzle or Charizard might be my best option. I mean, I could trade a bunch for uh, Noivern as well, maybe, but I don't really want to give away my Burning Shadows packs that quickly. Or I can just pull a Guzma, right? <laughs> so like I said, leave down in the comment section what you guys want to see next time. Thank you for making it this far into the video. Uh, this has been Dapper Drabby. I, I apologize for posting this so late, but uh, things happen. So I'll see you guys on the next video. It's been Dapper Gabby, and I'll bid you guys a Lola. Bye-bye now.